I'd like to take you through a quick demonstration of everything VidTwelve.com has to offer. So first, when you upload your game video, we break it down in 12 to 24 hours or less. And think of us as a video assistant, 24-7, 365. We save you hundreds of hours per season so you can better teach your players and get more out of your video. Second, VidSwap allows you to collaborate and share your analysis with your entire team. Second, VidSwap allows you to collaborate and share your analysis with your entire team from any browser or iOS device. Lastly, the iOS app is one of our most popular features. Your analysis can be in the palm of your hand on the bus, the plane, or the locker room, and you don't need an internet connection. So again, VidSwap does all of the work for you in 12 to 24 hours or less. Your breakdowns are online, so you can collaborate with your entire team. And the iOS app gives you offline use for film sessions anywhere. Now let's take a quick look at how VidSwap.com works. Your dashboard has all of your available apps, and so your videos here is where you'll upload all of your games, scout games, practice video, all those videos that you want to edit and share with your players. So you'll see a list of your games, and you have checkboxes that allow you to do multi-game analysis. You can also email links of games to anybody outside of your team that you want to share with. The timeline on every game is where we edit your video. You'll see on the timeline all of these blue boxes. These represent all the different situations throughout the entire game that we're tagging. And what this gives you is the granularity to be able to pull up any small event, larger event, or any cross section on this timeline. The filter is where you can search for any situation that you want to view. You'll notice now that the clips I pull up in the filter have that nice granularity, whether it's a, just a shot, just goals, or just those short corners that I want to evaluate. I can select clips in the filter and then choose to add these to a highlight presentation I'm making or maybe to share with my players on a review. The video player has all the playback controls for play, pause, slow motion, fast forward to get born or backwards. And we do support HD video, so your video is going to look great. Document is where you can upload things like playbooks, scanner reports, practice plans, and things like that that you want to share with your team. If your whole conference uses VidSwap, we have a schedules app that allows you to do video exchange. And this is also where we're breaking down all the games for your entire league. So you have instant access to any situation across any number of games. Highlights is where you'll manage video presentations that you create for the team, for your players. You can add or edit descriptions. You can change the order of these clips. And you can also add telestrations to further teach your players on what they need to understand. And then save these for later. Rosters is where you'll give login access to your entire team so they can watch a video from any PC or iOS device. And you can also set custom permissions to control what your players can see. Reviews are assignments that you give to your players so you can teach your players more effectively. They're similar to highlights in that you can add clips to it, add descriptions, add telestrations and notes on top of the video. But you also have a chat thread here that you can have conversations with the players like you would in a remote film session. The best part about a review is the fact that it has a report. So you can see the engagement analytics, how much your players have been looking at it, when they looked at it, how much time they've spent, comments, all of that so you can really keep your players accountable. Settings is where you can create custom tags that you'd like to add on your video in addition to the tags that we've done for you. The help sections are where you can learn about how to use many of our great features or just ask for help. Your upload video button is on the right, and in the top right corner is your account information where you can manage your login and subscription info. Lastly, let's take a quick look at the iOS app. So our app works for both the iPad and the iPhone, and the best thing about the app is that you can download video and edits into the app for offline use. So your film sessions can be done anywhere. You can plug your device into a projector or a TV and then do film sessions in front of your team. So once you're logged in here, Next to every game, you have a cloud icon, and this tells you whether or not this game is available to stream or download. And so right now, these clouds tell me that I can stream it via Wi-Fi, but if I want to download it, I can tap on that cloud and then download this game, 
into the app. So when I've clicked into a game, I've got my player controls on the right and on the left. I can move this control bar to the bottom. I've got my player controls, play pause, slow motion, all of that there. Whenever the video is paused, I can use my finger and I can draw on screen. The top right corner is my filter and I can click into any situation that I want to look for. When I pop that filter up, the top shows me the information on each clip and then I can navigate up and down my list viewing each clip. I can go back to highlights or reviews. I can pop those up. I can watch those and do a session in front of my players. And then any telestrations that I've added will also show. So in conclusion, that's a quick look at vidswap.com. We break down your games for you. If you'd like a more in-depth demonstration, please contact us.